Now you tell me, why are people going around saying this is their favorite bag? Hey guys, my name is Dariana. I'm just a beauty loving mom, and today I'm going to share my February Ipsy bag. So guys, since I get my bag so late in the month, I decided I wanted to give you a mini review instead of an unbagging. First, let's talk about this bag. This bag is a really pretty idea. It was just poorly executed. Like, the material is kind of funky. I think they could have cut more fabric for it. Um, the zipper is definitely is rubber and it seems kind of cheap. As you can see, the lace detailing is unraveling some. And I just think they could have done a better job. I love the concept of this month. It was unzipped. The first thing that was sitting in my envelope were these two sheet masks. And I have used these BioBell sheet masks before. They're super inexpensive and I really enjoy this primer one. I really enjoy prepping my skin before a long day of makeup. And these are just perfect. And they have vitamin C, which Derry loves. Thank you, Ipsy, for including two. Next thing I had in my bag was this nail polish. I did have it on for about two days. I took it off last night because it looked a little rough. But this is in the color Wine O'Clock. This is from Trust Fund Beauty, and it's 10 free. And it is just this dark wine color. You definitely need at least two coats for this polish. It didn't last very long on my fingernails, but it could be good for the toes. It's just not a color I'd reach for. So I also say you definitely need at least two coats for this polish. Next I want to share is this little Tristique mini eyeliner. It is in Swiss chocolate. I do have this on today. I smoked it out on my upper and lower lash line. And it's just a brown liner. There's nothing, there's nothing extra special about it. So here it is swatched. So you can make this pencil longer by simply just clipping on the cap onto the end. And we're going to roll this guy all the way up. And you see, I do think it comes with quite a bit of product. I do think it's long wearing. And what I think is neat about this is that it is a mini. So you could just throw it right in your travel bag. So yeah, it is just another eyeliner. But at least it's brown and it has a little neat factor to it. So next, I want to talk about this Fully Charged Mascara by Pure. Let's go ahead and show the wand. This is a type of wand that I enjoy because it's more of the natural bristle instead of the plastic. And the only thing I think is that the bristles are a little long, so they don't hold very much product, but the stick itself does hold a lot of product. The first two times that I used this mascara, I really didn't care for it. But today when I put it on, I actually kind of liked it. So I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about this one right now. Last product in this bag is this Dual Ended Luxie Brush. I think it's really pretty. So I do want to pass this product on because I don't store my brushes laying down. I do stand them up. But I love Luxie brushes and so this was very neat to get. So overall this month I'm going to give this bag a 4 stars on my Ipsy account. So I really love getting face masks, nail polish, mascaras, eyeliners, and brushes. So they did do it right this month. There was just nothing to write home about. So guys, that's it for my February Ipsy bag. If you think I'm doing a good job, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see my face again, go ahead and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.